Hello everyone, I hope that uh, you have a great day today. Uh, in this video, I'm going to show you okay, how to use the uh, auto view features okay, uh, in uh, uh, Excel, okay, for example, okay, uh, like this one, okay. and also how to calculate the uh, whole time, okay, which means that if you work for a call center and then someone plays a call and uh, here will be the time okay, uh, your staff can okay, pick up the call. Okay, so this will be the uh, whole time. Okay, how to calculate it uh, in uh, the units of second. And also, okay, maybe okay, uh, you want to uh, have some statistic information, okay, such as uh, to find out whether the whole time okay, missed the, uh, your goal or not, okay, which means that uh, you hope that uh, uh, within 20 seconds, okay, when the call call into your call center, and then you want to uh, you want your staff to uh, answer the phone okay, within 20 seconds. Okay, so if uh, it's within 20 seconds, then you want to uh, set a value of zero here. If it's more than 20 seconds, okay, you want to set a value of one over here. And also, okay, how to calculate. Uh, the uh, call uh, duration, okay, which means that uh, your staff can pick up the call and then okay, uh, uh, the time to complete the call with the customer and then how do, how do you calculate it in minutes and here will be the accumulate minutes, okay, always so-called running total. All right, okay, let's get started. So over here, I'm going to uh, try something like this case, such as claim, okay. Okay. Uh, number maybe 21225, for example. And then okay, the next one, let me try claim number 21226, for example. Okay, so each time when there's a new claim, uh, the number will be increment by one and then I assume that I have okay, uh, hundreds of calls okay, uh, coming in okay, uh, in each day. And I want the uh, Excel to automatically uh, fill in that number, okay, added by one. And so I will just uh, quickly uh, give you a short uh, example. So all you need to select the first two cells and over this okay, uh, so-called okay, auto field okay, uh, square, okay, uh, uh, a button over here, okay, click your mouse button and then drag it down and okay, then you can see that uh, once you let it go and uh, then the number over here will be uh, claims okay, uh, 21244, it will automatically increment by one. And then okay, over here you can pick okay, uh, to uh, uh, fill the series and also okay, uh, maybe also you want, you don't want uh, uh, the format, okay, so you can I pick something like a field without formatting. Okay, all right, okay, so far so good. And then here will be the uh, uh, hold time okay, in seconds. Okay, so just put the insertion point into the cell over here. Then okay, uh, put the move your mouse pointer to the formula okay, uh, insertion box over here. Uh, press the uh, equal uh, sign first and then okay, I select the cell, okay, select the cell, okay, it will be G5 in this case, and then subtract by, okay, uh, the time uh, the call, okay, uh, was placed, okay? And then, okay, uh, you got to convert the value, okay, convert the value, okay, into uh, seconds, okay? So you have to put the value okay, in a pair of uh, uh, parentheses, and then can okay, multiply uh, the value by 24, and okay, 24 means a day has 24 hours, and then each hour has 60 minutes, okay, and then multiply by 60 seconds again, okay, and then uh, uh, put the uh, check mark, okay, click the check mark, okay, there you go. Okay, however, uh, you can see that uh, the unit here, okay, uh, is not what you want. Okay, so you want to go to the format uh, box over here, and then you can pick this okay, uh, general. Okay, if you want to. Okay, so let me pick the general. So it shows that okay, uh, it is 29 uh, seconds. Again, okay, 
uh, I'm going to get, use this get, auto view feature. So click the square get, uh, button over there, drag it down, and then you can see that I auto viewed get, uh, the minutes get, uh, for you. Get. How about the uh, next one? Get, uh, uh, Mrs. Get, how time go? Get, so over here, oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, I found out that uh, the format here. Okay, uh, I need to pick this okay, view without formatting. All right. Okay, so far so good. So how about move to uh, uh, column I? Okay. So we're going to use the uh, if function. Okay. So we're going to say okay, equal. Okay, and then if. Okay, and then again. Uh, if you look at the formula, okay, uh, it has three uh, parameters. The first one is the logical test, okay. okay and then sec second one will be the value if the logical test is true. And then the third one will be the value you want to put in there, okay, or display if the test okay, is false. Okay. So you got to say that, okay, if, okay, let's say uh, uh, H, okay. Uh, let me see, yeah, H5, okay, I believe in this one, okay, so again, uh, I can try this one, okay, so if H5, okay, is greater than the value in, in this case, the cell number B20, okay, so B20, then, okay, so remember to put okay, a comma there, then you return one. Otherwise, yeah, you return zero, okay? And then, okay, uh, here is something that the student might have made a mistake. Okay? So the uh, B2 here, you have to use the absolute okay, address. Okay? You cannot use the uh, relative address okay, for the cell okay, uh, address, okay? So I uh, put the insertion point okay, uh, between okay, uh, cell okay, B20. Uh, sorry, uh, it should be B10. Okay. Uh, let me do the correction here. B10. And then use the uh, function key. Okay. Function key F4. Okay, so let me try this one. And you can see that uh, the cell number okay, uh, proceeded with dollar sign okay, uh, and dollar sign over here. So this is the absolute address, okay. So now we are done, okay. So we can click the check mark over here. And then again, okay, just use the auto view, okay, uh, to uh, view the formula, okay. And then you automatically, automatically uh, uh, do the uh, checking for you, okay. So you can see that uh, for uh, this okay, uh, cell, okay, the value is zero. The reason is that the whole time is only 14 uh, seconds. Okay, so okay, you will return zero, which is correct. All right, next one, okay, we're going to calculate the uh, uh, duration. Okay, so duration will be uh, the time, okay, the call complete, okay, but, and then uh, also versus the time the call okay, is answered. Okay, so we got to put uh, the uh, equal sign here, and then we're going to use the cell value here, okay, and then subtract by this one, okay. Uh, the call was made, and then again, okay, pair them, okay, with, uh, enclose them with a pair of, of parentheses, multiply them by 24 hours, okay, and then by 60 minutes per hour, okay. That's it, okay, since we want the value of in minutes, okay, so then again, click the check mark. And again, uh, it shows the format, okay, maybe it's not what you want, it's okay, just uh, uh, go to the format box over here and pick uh, general, okay. And then this time it shows uh, the uh, decimal values, okay, and we don't want it, okay, we just want to show that uh, the largest okay, uh, initial value okay, in minutes. Okay. So uh, right before the first okay, uh, left parentheses, we can use the round up function. Okay, so round, okay, let me type it, round okay, up. Okay. And each take again, okay, uh, three parameters. Okay. The first one will be the value, okay, which is the one we have here already. And then second one okay, will be 
uh, the uh, number of digits okay, you want to do the round in okay, since we just want the uh, whole number okay so we can put the zero over there and click the check mark here okay so let me see okay uh, let me see give me a minute oh i missed okay, uh, one uh, parentheses over here okay so make sure you pair it right okay yeah all right so this is 21 uh, minutes and again okay, uh, you can use the uh, auto field okay, uh, to fill in the rest of the cells in the same column and then pick the uh, field okay, uh, without formatting all right okay. and then okay, for the uh, cumulative okay, uh, value okay, also called the running total then again okay, you can use okay, something that is okay, equal sum since the first value okay, uh, will be the same okay, uh, for the first entry, okay, so you just use the range okay, uh, K5. Okay. But then okay, uh, we want to accumulate uh, the values okay, starting from okay, uh, the uh, uh, cell okay, K5 here. So the first parameter over here, we have to change to the absolute okay, address again. So again, okay, uh, put the insertion point uh, in the cell address, okay, and then use the function key F4. Okay, yeah, there you go. And then we can click the check mark here. Okay, so the first uh, running total okay, in uh, this cell is 21. Okay, and then we can just drag it down okay, for the rest of the cell. Okay, there you go. Okay, so uh, again, uh, no need to use the uh, uh, format okay so this is the basic idea okay i hope that uh, the information here is useful to you okay so let me stop the video now